Hey Joy Riders, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something that I don't think I've ever seen before. There's a ton of bike tests out there, but what I've never seen is a size test. What's a size test? We're gonna take these two bikes, both Revel Rascals, one small, one medium. Why? Because size matters. Today is a day that I've been waiting for a long time, which is to figure out which one of these beautiful bikes is gonna be the one that I keep. By the way, after I pick which bike works best for me, we're giving away the other bike to one of the lucky viewers out there. So more on that in a minute. Disclaimer, first, the best bike is always whatever bike you're on. Second, my riding goal is joy, positive feelings, and transcendent moments. So let's meet the bikes. We have two 2021 Revel Rascal 29ers. The small with a reach of 424. The medium with a reach of 444. Both have 130 millimeters of rear and 140 millimeters of front suspension. Revel recommends their small for riders 5'1 to 5'7 and their medium for riders 5'6 to 5'10. So at 5'9, Revel recommends either the medium or the large for me. As you know, we're not big fans of these manufacturer size charts. You cannot trust those at all because they're completely arbitrary. But the rider slash bike interface is not arbitrary. And by becoming aware of the numbers that work for you, you take control of the fit. Are longer frames actually faster than shorter frames? So we're gonna find out. The two bikes are set up as identically as possible. To tell them apart, I set up the medium with a blue stem and the small with a silver stem. They are running the same fork, shock, same tires, front and rear, and same pressure, 22 in the front and 25 in the back. Same pressure in the fork, the shock, and running all the clickers exactly the same. The small has electric shifting and slightly higher in SRAM components. This should not make any difference for the test we are running. Both weigh in at about 33 pounds. Same grips. How much more sameness could you have? Not much. Using Lee's formula to get an estimated reach, we take my height in centimeters and multiply it by 2.5 and get 437 for an estimated reach. I'm right in between the 424 and the 444 of the small and the medium, but I have long arms. So my measured rad is shorter. I'm usually happier with shorter bikes. Right now, the small matches my rad exactly. The medium is rad plus by 20 millimeters. The riders. The terrain, we're gonna be doing six runs on a short downhill section just outside of Boulder. Then we're gonna go to some flowy jump lines in Erie and do another six runs. The rules, we will be alternating bikes each run so as not to get too accustomed to either one. We will ride without much pedaling, almost like a chainless race, and at a comfortable pace not pushing hard. For timing I'll use the GoPro footage with the same in and outs marked by posts or landmarks. It'll be pretty damn accurate. Steve's going to be timing with his watch. Along the way I'll call out my observations for each bike. So here we go. Run one. Alex on medium, Steve on small. This is the medium. Pops better than I thought it would. I don't have that sort of playful vibe that I feel like I do on the other frame. Ooh. <laughs> it likes a straighter line, that's for sure. Over the, over the little log. Take this wide one. This is the perfect way to just test these bikes. Or, I wouldn't even call it a test. This lab may count, may not count. Kind of a siding lab. Like, Oh, hey, that's good, buddy. Thanks. No worries. Enjoy. I should have taken that drop to the right. God bless. I haven't done this in so long. So fun. Woo, loose. I messed that up. The other metric. The joy metric. I don't know how to count it. I was thinking about whoops. How often I whoop. But just then, 
I whooped out of terror, not out of joy. Some exposure in here, some of these turns and a little bit cliffed out, but fun. Woo! Yes! Oh. Run two, Alex on small, Steve on medium. Does it feel different? Yeah, it already feels different. I feel like, for me, the small has a nice hop. Can I say that about my own riding? I feel like the small maybe gives me more line choice, you know? Kind of spur of the moment, line choice. Over the log. Steve seems faster on the bigger bike as of now. All right, smiling. Oh, I didn't even see this line the last time through. It's like crazy wide line up there. That was fun. For some reason, I like. DHRs, better front and rear. But I feel maybe more push on the DHF. That was really slow. This will be interesting. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's ever done a test like this. The only difference being a 20 millimeter size difference. Like that's some subtle stuff. But the bikes are so different that there are times I feel like it could be a different manufacturer. And, I, and I've started thinking about reviews that I've watched in the past where they're like, oh, this bike's very nimble. This bike's fun to flick around. I think in some cases what's happening is a rider of a certain dimension is coming together with a bike of a certain dimension and it's creating those attributes, but it's not inherent in the bike or the frame. Kind of an epiphany. That, that's coming through really early on in this uh, experiment. Run three, Alex on medium, Steve on small. There's a luxury to long, let's face it. Like that line, I took wider than I probably would with another bike, with a shorter bike. Oh, that was harder to make. Harder to get up there. Feels like Steve is faster on the other on this bike. Or maybe I am. That fell fast. A little bit faster. Again, not pushing, just letting the bike give me what's there. Definitely faster. Almost got away from me faster. <laughs> Easier to get used to long than used to short. I would say that may be true. That was fun. Mucha fun. Run four, Alex on small, Steve back on medium. Man, it is immediately obvious that the other bike takes these straighter lines. This one, look at that, I went inside those rocks. I think every time I've gone outside on the other bike. So the more playful line. Higher line, that worked. I'm gonna try that on the medium next time. Small really likes it here. It might be faster through there. A little more comfortable now after a few times through here. Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> 
run five. Alex on medium. I'm gonna try to take some of the like more inside lines on the bigger bike. Right here on the small bike. Okay, I couldn't stay inside there like I could in the small bike. Shouldn't say couldn't, didn't once again. Woo! Kind of overtook that ride way within what's comfortable. So maybe 85% speed. So that we're really looking at the bike and not me and how I'm feeling. Run six, Alex on small. Take a low line. Bunny hop that big rock. I think I just don't like these tires. I'm not blaming either of these bikes for what I think are problems with the tires. Ooh. Ha, that was a fun line. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun up and over the tree and around the tree. That tire just hates when it's in between. It wants to get on those corner knobs and then it's happy. That's the whole issue. I'm not a fan of that. I would like more traction as I'm rolling from like edge to edge. That felt fast. I'm dropping that first run as a siding run. It was on the medium and it was super slow. So I had four clean runs and times. We're gonna use those. On the small, I had my fastest time of the morning at 3.51, and the other run was 3.53 for an average of 3.52. My medium times were 3.52 and 3.54 for an average of 3.53. Super close. Could flip a coin unless I was a racer, in which case a second means a lot. On the flowy jump line, it was even tighter. Throwing away the two sight lines, every single run was one minute and eight seconds. So we gotta look at the thousandths of a second to determine a winner in this one. I feel like I'm going slower and slower, but if I had to guess, I'd give a little edge to the medium right now. With medium edging out the small with an average time of 108, 0.15 versus the small with an average time of 108.20. That's five one hundredths of a second difference <laughs> across four runs. If you asked me to make a prediction, I would have said the medium was a second or maybe a second and a half faster per run. And I can only call this a draw. So which bike am I gonna keep since they're both consistent and fast? It's worth noting that based on current MTB wisdom, the small is supposed to be the underdog in this test, and it's still clocked the fastest time of the day. If all the numbers are the same, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may flip a coin. If the numbers favor the longer bike, I'll go with the longer bike. Speed is an important quantitative measurement, but what about some qualitative picks? Cornering, my pick goes to the small because I had more line choice and I could change lines mid-turn. The medium was really fun on wider, faster turns, but it was reluctant to change lines, and I could not get some of the inside lines that I wanted. Jumping, identical on the long and lows, but the small gave me the leverage to really pop over stuff and is better on steep faces and dirt jumps. Climbing, I don't really care. Both climb super well. I've spent a lot of time climbing both. I'd probably give the nod to the medium on a long day just for comfort. Fun, I'd have to give this to the small too. Easier to hop, easier to pop, more line choice, and easier to manual and wheelie. So what's the bottom line? If the medium was clearly faster than the small, I was totally prepared to pick it. And while we were doing testing, I was getting the strong feeling that the medium was faster. The medium just feels faster. 
which is super weird now that I look at the times. It should feel slower, but be faster. But instead, I had my fastest time of the day on the small. The channel is Joy of Bike, not Speed of Bike, so it's a no-brainer for me to keep the bike that's the most fun when it's also screaming fast. So the bike that fits me best and is fastest and most fun is a bike that the manufacturer recommends for people 5'1 to 5'7 and I'm 5'9. So what does that mean for you? It's not my place to say, and it's certainly not some marketing guy at some bike company's place to say. I think what I found is bikes were getting longer and the tried and true medium from my past wasn't a medium anymore. It was something else. So I had to spend time to learn the numbers and understand the numbers and how they relate to my riding and, and what numbers correspond to the most joy for me. I'm super glad I did it. Now I hope that this video helps you find the numbers that work for you, whatever they are. This means the medium is going to one of you guys out there. We've got an amazing plan. We're gonna be able to raise money for a great cause and give this bike away. Stay tuned for more on that on our community page and upcoming videos. I hope this helps you on your own shred quest. And until next time, as always, Nama Stoke.